Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the neighborhood. I am John, your favorite neighbor kid, and I'm coming back again to play a little bit more Starbound Fracking Universe today. And I say more, this is technically a new series going on right now. We're starting a brand new one ever since um, Seder dropped the uh, 6.0 update of the of the Fracking Universe system. We're going to start out a new series. This is set in the same universe as our previous series, and you might want to go back and check that out. That's up to you. You don't have to. This is still a good place to start off the series. For those of you who don't know, Fracking Universe is a, an overhaul mod. It, it overhauls the Starbound system, makes complete change, and, and this most recent update has, has uh, updated and changed the entire research system and the entire uh, crafting system and made it more tiered and uh, obviously accessible. It's... It's a little complicated we'll look into it um uh but we'll we'll start this out we'll we'll get a uh, get a character started here and i will say um make sure uh, i'm gonna talk about some things as we're going through um i did record this episode once already and it was kind of tragic so uh we're redoing this um uh, i've already got a character started i've decided that we're gonna go with the cure host race which is uh uh and Adorable, omnivorous, and nearly electric-proof space rodent. Uh, they uh, prowl the stars seeking excitement. Uh, normally brave for rodents, trustworthy and wise. They've earned a reputation as traitor. traitors. And it actually kind of resonated with me. I thought maybe one of our goals for this series could be doing a little bit more of the, the space trading um, aspect of the game. I don't know how good that is, but uh, they've got 10% plus 10% jump, jump uh, speed and jump. Um, uh, extra electric resistance, fall damage a lot less, and you all know me, I take fall damage all the time. And they're great traders, and that's really, uh, important. Um, also they get, uh, a little bit more, I don't know what, striker, I don't know what that is exactly, but, um, they've got a little less health, uh, they have trouble with radioactive poison and cosmic, so that's something we're gonna have to look out for. It's something I already had trouble with, so it's not particularly surprising. I've actually, uh, decided... We're gonna start out with a female character this time, and uh, I have. We are gonna. We are gonna do this just like we did the last season. The the last season of um, Fracking Universe that we did. We're gonna start the intro. We're gonna do the intro mission. We're gonna do story missions just the same. We're gonna run through it. <clears throat> but you know, we'll do all the other stuff after it as well. We'll show that off, and uh, we'll kind of get through that. I do want to say um, uh, I'm gonna try to cut down on end comments and stuff so things that i say at the end about you know all that stuff um you'll you'll figure it out It'll, it's I'm gonna try to reduce that cut that down i know it gets a little bit much but if you do want to check out if you want to check out if you're checking this video out and there's more videos out you can check out the playlist in the description you can check out the playlist for the previous season also in the description and uh for my vanilla starbound playthrough if you want to check that out as well all in this in this description also if you need to get the game you can get through there or if you do feel like you want to donate, I get that. You, you know, throw some money my way. There's a link in the description as well. I understand if you don't. I get it. I appreciate you watching either way. So let's uh, let's keep, take a look. Um, also, I'm not great at this game. If you're discovering stuff about the system that you want me to know at any point, even if it's a past episode, feel free to drop me uh, uh, drop me some tips in the comments or really anything that you want to say, anything you want to see, any mods that you want me to check out throw those my way talking a lot right now i'll try to give you recognition when i can but um <clears throat> and if you like someone else's idea make sure you like and reply to that to, to give them a little bit of support support too also mods i'm using in the description i've got a list of stuff i'm going here anyway let's jump into that i know that was long-winded let's jump into the game here final all right we got nadir Mill millions i pre-set up the character just because it took a long time for me to decide yesterday. I might as well, you know, do it all in one go this time around. And I'll try to keep this episode a little bit more streamlined than I did, too. I spent way too much time faffing around. Unintentionally. Wake up. Wake up. You have overslept. Oh, so peaceful. Look at him. Look at her. Oh no, you have overslept. There are only a few minutes until er emergency session begins. You'd better not keep them waiting, protector. Press A or D to get out of bed. All right, done and done. Oh, 
You gotta get that sleep out of your eyes. To interact with a nearby person, door, or other object, you should hover over it with your cursor and press E if you are awake enough to do so. Oh, let's turn off that lava lamp. Let's turn that lava lamp ba back on. We can also see what we can interact with by pressing and holding down Alt so we can head through this door. First thing you gotta do, of course, when you wake up, is go potty. It's potty time. And then, of course, first thing you gotta do is wash your hands. So we gonna do that right now. Wash, 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 wash. I don't, I don't know if there's like a washing emote or something that you can do, something that would look like it, but remember you can open a door by hovering over it with your cursor and pressing E. Yeah, I got that. I understand that. All right, let's move on through the door here. You're enclosed. Your uniform is available to collect from your personal locker. It is quite impressive that you can remain so serene when you are running so late. Well done, you. I mean, I sorta do. Soon I'll be a real protector with my very own matter manipulator like you. It must be exciting. It is. It's very exciting. No, oh, dude. Oh, man. Come on. Bro, I gotta get my equipment out of here. Now, I spent all this time deciding on her, on her outfit, and we're not even gonna see it for that long. Actually, I mean, we could. Because, I mean, this is the, uh... Ooh. Really? This isn't even the equipment? This is just, this is straight up the actual equipment. I love that, actually. I dig this outfit. It's super awesome. Um, I'm not going to put that on yet. Well, once we, uh, I do really like this outfit, though. Off to a bit of a late start, aren't you, Nadir Millions? You can just call me, but you call me Nadir if you want to. The vending machine swallowed my pixels. Could this day get any worse? I, uh, I don't know, man. I've, I have a feeling, though, things might change out a little bit. All right, I changed my mind. I didn't realize it was the same color as her hair. Eh, whatever. All right, let's get scooting here. Let's get some things cleared up. What's going on, robot man? Frustrated. Oh, every day. Or weary. Every day, more petals to sweep. Yep, and that's what happens when you're hanging out with a tree, man. You'd think they would go off the ledge, but I don't know. Sit with me for a moment and let us enjoy these beautiful blossoms. Yeah, and everybody has the same voice. It's fine. <gasps> oh, that's right. And then we can uh, poke at this flower. We get a protectorate flower. Get that for nice for our hair. You're really cl cutting it close, dear Millions. Please hurry inside before the emergency meeting starts. All right, I'm getting. I'm scooting. Let's head on in here. Look at all this nice stuff. I want. I want to roll around that robe. It's nice. Look at this. This outfit right here. Let's roll along here. <clears throat> Get us moving. This is a great game. I love this game. My fellow citizens, our collective worlds face a threat unlike any we've seen before. I gotta read faster. The time for action has come. We must join forces now to repel this new, strange new enemy and stop fighting amongst ourselves over petty nonsense, lest we face unparalleled danger. If we do not engage immediately, we, we risk total annihilation. We cannot let whatever this thing is to tear our noble republic apart. <clears throat> To combat the threat, I suggest a toxin derived from the substance we call ether. With it, we can weaponize our greatest tool. The matter manipulator! Huh? What was that? Security! Could you perhaps... Something, something, something. Oh, shit! Security's down! No! It's here! Everyone flee! Oh man. Tentacles, man. They mean business. You! Agent! Take the man the manipulator and something something. I'm supposed to do something. I couldn't quite catch that. You were screaming. It is not safe to remain here. Please take the man manipulator. You must proceed to the shuttle pod. Got that bitch right there. Beastly. Let's rock it. Alright, we got that matter manipulator. We're booking it now. We're booking it. Anything we can... Nope, nope. That dude's face is entirely gone. That sucks. It appears the ceiling has collapsed. The matter manipulator can be used to clear this dirt. P press the R key to equip it, then uh, click and hold on the pile of dirt to dig through it. Yeah, done. And done. Let's just get some materials out of the way right now. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we can't pop and sneak up there, which is too bad. And I don't think we can collect the liquids yet either. Stop for a rest. Catch our breath. Yes, catch our breath. It's nice to have a little relax every so often. 
Scans show the room beyond this door is flooded. It would be best, it'd be best not to go in. I advise you find a way over it. Use spacebar to jump on platforms. All right, I can do that. Let's jump. Go ahead and jump. All right, we rocking. Aw, oh, man, poor dude. The scale of this disaster is immeasurable. Something, something, something. To jump down from the platform, you should hold the S and to, to crouch and then tap the space bar. All right, let's check this out. Nothing. Nothing doing. Tentacle! Escape that guy. And I'm not going to miss it this time. Y'all may notice the first time I'm around, I missed it. Now we got a cape. We look all, all like extra awesome and stuff. Look like a superhero. We flying. We flying, baby. All right. So, you know, that's what I do. Like, when there's a disaster, I run up to a torn banner and I just tie it around my neck like any other person would do. The chest sitting on that conveyor belt should contain some kind of weapon. Please arm yourself. Yep. Oh, baby. And some cash. How about that? All right, let's rearrange some things in our bar right now. I wish I could... I don't know how to remove things from this other than to put other things in it. <clears throat> Whatever. We really don't need to. <clears throat> Excuse me. XX... Access a weapon with ease by placing in one of the action bar slots. Oh, they just told me how to do that. I'm pressing the corresponding number key to equip it. All right, done and done. Poke that. Oh yeah, let's do it. Do a whirly gig. Cha -cha 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 -cha. That's right, get done. I have by bypassed the pre-flight checks. Get aboard. Let's grab this sh shit right now. And we out of here. We taking off. Finally up and out of here. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but this is still the same universe that we were running our previous season in. So we're probably going to, we might con actually continue with some of the things that we were doing once we find it there. All right, here's our new research system notes for the, for the game. Um, I still don't know how to get the quick bar. Mo I, I don't know what the quick bar mod is. Um, Got to figure that out. Uh, but if you all, if y'all know exactly what it is, what, what uh, they're talking, what they're referring to here. That would be uh, some useful information. But there's a whole lot of changes for the recent version of the game. Um, we'll experience them as we go on here. Let's see. Nothing works right now. This is our uh, basic ship here. Let's talk to Sail and see what we got to say. Ship has, has sustained major damage when escaping Earth. Capital, maybe. Uh, please select which ship you type you want. Fracken ship, build your own ship. Sea tricorder quests when obtained. Requires installation of a new FTL drive. Vanilla ship. We're not going to go with vanilla ship. We're going to build our own just like we did last time around, though it may take just as long to actually get around to start building it. We'll see about that. The nice thing is, like, they've updated this, uh, the, the build your own ship system since we started our previous playthrough as well. There's a lot of stuff that's been updated that would really affect the uh, start of any uh, of any new game. So let's take a look. We can actually take a look at some of these ships we could start with. This is the Avian ship. Or that's the uh, Apex ship. This is the Avian ship. It's got a little like bird beak on it. That's pretty crazy. It's crazy. And this is the uh, default one. It's just a little bit bigger version of the one that we are currently in. I do, I, I, I like the changes that they've made because I'm pretty sure the one, the, the ship that we are currently in right now, this is the one that you actually started with. Uh, if you did build your own ship previously, you didn't have this this kind of choice. Afterwards, we actually get a little bit more space. This is the Florin ship. Looks kind of cool, actually. Um, the Glitch ship. I think they're a lot bigger than starting ships for like vanilla I want to say it and it's a lot cool that's really cool I like that it's the human ship the hylodal ship I also like that one that one's really cool too Looks kind of like a stingray man that's nice it's not accidentally hit select I'd hate to have that happen all right let's take a look at the Nova Kid ship space train gotta love it I'm gonna go with the regular one though the uh default the fracking ship upgraded differently. This ship type has access to features that the vanilla ship does not have access to. Currently selected ship default by BYOS ship. Currently selected ship mode buildable. Yep. Oh yeah, we doing it. Now it's loading. Boom. Pop. Look at that. 
The personal track order is absolutely essential to your survival. Press primary mouse one bug function provides access to research, mech configuration, tech upgrades, and more. You've got one in your inventory. Let's slap that into our uh, second bar here. The ship's navigation systems were damaged and our escape, our location is currently unknown. Um, let's see, and let's switch back to it. Okay. Oh, that's nice. So we've got pre-equipped stuff here, but let's throw these together. For now. In your personal track order, the research menu will be the most important part, providing you with the access to, uh, for, to blueprint unlocks for all crafting. That's a big change for this version. Access to the research menu via the green beaker icon within the mouse one menu. So, like, let's take a look at that tricorder right now. What we're talking about is this beast right here. This is the research tree. It's a huge deal. The uh, the metaphysics. This is something that had had been around. This is how you actually got to the uh, the the madness um, crafting area. Um, it was exper you know, still kind of experimental, but not. I mean, it was experimental at the time, but that's how you do it. I suggest familiarizing yourself with the research menu as soon as possible, since that's going to be your sole means of progress if you ever wish, if you wish to ever get a, the ship space-worthy again. Why not research a little into agriculture to get you started? It's a good suggestion. I would suggest actually researching geology first, because one of the first quests that you get requires you to be able to do some basic blacksmithing. Now. I will say um, your research slowly ticks up as you're playing the game, and you can get research through other means as well. Um, uh, with the personal track quarter, quarter selected, press the mouse 2 button for the task manager where you can access your FU-related quests. Completing these will result in useful rewards and loot. Let's see. Let's actually give that a, a shot here. Okay, so yeah, this is our <clears throat> tutorial mission. I think this is my big deal right here. This is my problem. Um... Tutorial, alchemy, handmills, and extractors using the sprouting, sprouting tabor, table. Excuse me. We'll be going through this um, probably as well because it'll give some nifty things. And that press shift plus mouse one for the tool configuration dialog. Here you can even you can adjust your matter manipulator and or even place different tools or weapons in the primary slots if you desire. Just drag and drop. Yeah, that's really nice. All right, let's go get this this quest right here. Say hi to our little pink ermine guy. Welcome to sail. Using this interface, you can you check the ship status, view your currencies, access missions, view your crew, and access a handful of other useful features. All right, we're gonna go with the missions right now. We don't have anything right now. I'm a little bit surprised by that. The personal track order is extremely important. Do not throw it out ever. Should you use it, you can always create a new one, a new personal track order in your tinker table. So that's important. If I ever accidentally throw it down a cliff or whatever, which I probably will. Let's, I'm going to be completely honest here. That's just a thing that I do. I just throw stuff. It's a problem. Okay, let's see. Now, our first quest here is exploring the orbital, the, the orbited planet. Arceus fuel for your FTL drive can be mined from moons. It should be noted that since Earth's destruction, all moons scanned have de delivered strange, unpleasant, indecipherable readings. How do you know they're strange, then? Or is it just strange that they're indecipherable? Um, we're currently in, we are currently in orbit around an unknown world. The ship is heavily damaged, and we are not, uh, unable to leave orbit. I suggest you beam down to the planet's surface using the teleporter and search for supplies and perhaps a means of fixi fixing the ship. All right, let's rock this out. We're going to head down to the surface. This is the thing that took me a while to kind of get a hold on earlier. But I, I think the one thing that I would do is uh, do a little bit differently for the, the startup of this game is have the first tutorial, the, the first few tutorials kind of get you, give you an understandable or understanding. Didn't I dismiss this already? I think I did. I don't know, that's weird. Um... Okay, so now we're down on this planet. Let's get some things here. We gotta, we gotta break down some trees. Do this right quick. So I want to get some basics out of the way here. Real basic stuff. You found some wood. My databanks tell me that wood is a material with great, uh, great many uses. I suggest you kill additional trees and explore your crafting menu. I will do that. Crafting menu is kind of limited right at this moment. Um, which is to say, 
Get some corn. I see that you've discovered some seeds. I suggest planting them in the tilled soil and watering them until they grow. The tools you need can be built as a foraging to uh, at the foraging table. That's a thing that we'll have to get to as well. We can get some more wood here. You've discovered some plant fiber. This can be woven into useful fabrics and material uh, at, at a spinning table. The spinning wheel. You've discovered coal! You can turn coal into torches to light your way. And that's actually what we're going to do. That's going to be the, one of the first things we're going to take care of. Is getting coal together. Let's break out the uh, the crafting menu here. Um, we can build an inventor's table. There's currently nothing in there. So that's an important thing. Like, with the whole research overhaul, literally... Like, almost in everything entirely is is going to be all research, all new recipes and stuff are going to be obtained by, through the research section of your tricorder. Um, so let's th throw some things together. we got to get some timber out of the wood that we have harvested. Let's get... Let's get a hundred of those bad boys going. Thankfully, it's really quick to put together. What is absolutely essential to your early survival, you'll be able to craft basic weapons and gear with your bare hands. I recommend a primitive sphere spear to start with. Research other uses for your wood in your personal tricorder. That's actually a thing we're going to do as well. Now, coal and wooden log. That's, we're going to, oh, we can only do 10. Oh, right, because we only have 10 coal. Let's make some torches. That's going to be really useful because it's going to get a little dark soon. Um, also, let's, can't make very many platforms. We make 20, which is good. But we'll outfit our menu real quick with torches and platforms. Platforms, unfortunately, take up two slots. That's okay. Um, we'll start out with that. Next, we're going to grab all of this junk down here. You've discovered some ore. Ore can be turned into bars using a furnace. Bars are useful for crafting a wide range of equipment and may increase your life expectancy. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Some of that copper out of there. Good, good. Um, we're gonna want we're gonna want them tomatoes. Yeah, we gotta get make sure that we have something to eat at this point. Get that clay. We're gonna get some cobblestone as well. This is all I've got a little bit, like I said, I've, I've played through this already and I did enough faffing around and, and being running around being super confused about how to start um, the, the, you know, the mod, what, what actually to, to get started with, that I know some of the basic things that we want to start with to get things going. And I definitely want to shorten down the episode because it ended up being like an hour long and most of it was, again, me running around super confused, so... I'm hopefully taking out some of that that process right now by having a slight amount of foreknowledge. Now, don't get used to this. If you're just starting watching me, you've never seen me before, I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time. And if you think that you can help, again, throw some uh, throw some tips in the comments. Uh, again, it doesn't matter um, when this video went up. If you have some comments, if you don't see someone else has said something that you think is very interesting or something that you know, throw in the comments. If I don't get used from it later on, which I very well might, I'll still hear about it. Um, someone else may. So it could be useful to, to someone else. Keep that in mind. Uh, definitely feel free to comment any videos, anytime, past, future, present, whatever. Um, and it does help me out too. I do appreciate it. It's always good to hear from you guys. Uh, but don't feel obligated to, you know. If you're just here to watch, that's like the best thing you can do for me, all honesty. That's like, that's like numero uno thing here. All right. <clears throat> Let's get up there. We've got... We can uh, put down some basic ladder here. I am gonna... <clears throat> my goodness. I'm gonna cut down some of these vines just so that we have some more plant matter to deal with. Plant fiber, excuse me. Get into a different biome here. Beautiful. That should be enough to start out with. With this, we can make a little bit more. We can make some more of these platforms. Which I'm going to do right now, actually. I'm not going to make the maximum amount, because that's way too many. But let's make, you know... Yeah, 250. They're, you know, pretty quick to build, so it's nice. 
Yeah, it's weird. I haven't played... I, I haven't started a new Starbound game, let alone Fracking Universe, because last time I, I, I played Fra the, the last season from Fracking Universe, that was uh, the first time I'd ever played the mod. Um, but I haven't started a new game in Starbound in so long, so it's actually it actually feels pretty new, even though I'm, you know, technically super used to it. Ecstatic, my cousin. My cousin is visiting today. She's so much fun. That's good. I mean, that's a thing. I get that. All right, let's explore. That's another thing that I get to do now. Is I get to rob people. That's not okay, though. You know, don't rob people. It's not. It's not cool. It's a video game, you know. They got some stuff growing down there. Get some more tomatoes over yonder. Okay, so we got some dangerous enemies here. I realize it's just the one enemy. But, you know. Ow! Okay. Okay, you all about the darts. I get it. I feel it. Let's get that. Let's grab this stuff down here, too. New ore. Oh, there's some more over there. There's some more different ore over yonder as well. And grab that. This is all stuff that, you know, you may may or may not know that you want to get. But, uh, it's absolutely thing. Abundant and simple to find. Sulfur is important for numerous applications. Its primary use is in fertilizers. I do want to thank every, uh, all the people that put their hard work into this mod, you know, Seder and the rest of the crew. That You guys do a great job. This is, uh, uh, I've, from what I've seen from the research and all that, it, it looks fantastic right now. It looks real good. All right, so this is not where we want to go. I am detecting a variety of life signs in this mine. If you are intending, if you are intending to explore it, I may advise you adequately arm yourself first and adequately arming yourself first. I agree with. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm right there with you. It's windy. We're gonna keep traveling the planet. I'm gonna stay away from this punk up here. If I can get by without angering you, that would be great. I do want to get like the one thing that I'm intending on doing in this first episode. I, I want to get the basic the f this first. I think this first quest out of the way here. So let's see if we can find, let's get some, some more coal. I actually think we can get some research out of the way right now. But there is a specific place I want to get to for really establishing, uh, really setting our roots down for our, our first base. Oh, Dude, absolutely I'm going to take these. I'm absolutely taking them. It's a thing that happened. And we get our first random quest here. Uh, the map this the map shows me how to get some ancient overgrown ruins. It supposedly holds a wealth of flora and artifacts. Yeah, and you get a bunch of rewards for it. I'm going to take the quest. Probably not going to beat it for quite a while because it's... I, I only... I beat it late, late in the last playthrough and it was not easy. Oh, you punk. Let's dance. Got the new swimming system in play for this too. Um, if you're familiar with the regular, if you're familiar with re regular vanilla Starbound, it's a uh, it's different. the The swimming system in Fracking Universe is is different. It's been crafted to uh to make it easier, more realistic for movement and stuff. A little bit more realistic. So it's kind of like uh, you know, you actually you float in the water and then you just kind of move around in it. Um. You don't rise up to the surface or anything. Oh, there's so much, there's so much clay there, and so many, so many resources. But I do want to keep this episode kind of short-ish. Uh, I will get the, I'll get the iron. But it's gonna get real dark soon, and I want to get here. Perfect. Good timing. Welcome to my lab, traveler. Come on in and visit. I've got a big comfy couch and a medical bay if you have any nasty injuries to heal up. In order to fix your ship, we'll need to, you'll need to complete several tasks. 
tasks, tasks. Speak to me to begin. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This is, this has actually been a lot better than the last playthrough too. Like there was a much more hostile environment last time around. Hi there. Not seen another new soul besides that slug looking fellow in a long time. If you're up to escaping, if you're fixing to escape this world, I can help you a bit, maybe. Bring me, say, five potatoes, and we'll talk. A greenhouse might help you make some in a pinch. All right, brosif. Let's do that. Uh, I'm going to talk to this punk, though. Greetings, stranger. I detected your protectorate and energy signal entering the system and investigated immediately. You were on a con collision course with the sun, so I went ahead and redirected your nav system. Perhaps this friendly creature can help me repair the ship and get away from the star system. I'll need to work at it either way, using my personal tricorder to conduct research whenever I can. Done and done. Now you're gonna say some more stuff, aren't you? Yeah. Seems I was just in time, too. Your FTL drive is broken and your impulse drive is basically dead in the water. I think maybe we can help each other. I'm first gonna help myself to anything that you might have lying around, which I think is nothing. If I'm to be honest. And I do need to heal up a little bit. But this bathroom is awesome. I love this bathroom. It's got a... Look at this. I want that. I want all these things. To get off this planet, you're going to need to repair your ship. To do that, you'll need, a, need to make a machining table in your crafting menu. You'll need to research engineering to do so. And to research engineering, you have to, as I said, research some other things as well. Uh, first, which is very important. Very important. You have to research some other things to be able to do things so that you can research other things. So I'm thinking maybe a little bit... One change that I would make just for the basic progression is to instruct that you do have to research uh, blacksmithing tier one first. Now you don't you don't necessarily have to. That's that's an important thing. You could find um, the bars that you require around the place. Oh, we got quite a bit of research to go through right now, so that's nice. And, uh, but you could find it around, but it's so much easier to get the ore and smelt it yourself. So, um, this requires five, uh, cobblestone blocks and 90 research. Now, it's also important, one big change that they've made to the system is, it, the only thing, the only require, the only, um, materials they actually consume are the research materials. You keep the cobblestone blocks, as far as I understand it. Can't prove that, we'll see. Um, could prove it, but... Don't feel like it right now. All right, so we got that. We've got uh, we've got the we can now make a per, uh, a furnace. Um, let's see. Now the blue things here, these are things that we can upgrade. We have access to and we can upgrade. The yellow ones are the things that we have access to and that we cannot upgrade. And the red ones are clearly the ones that we don't have access to. So we could do organic smelting right now. We could do this. I want to save up so that um, I'm going to save up my research at the moment because we need it. We need to spend it on different things like uh, the copper and iron right now. So we can both uh, melt those down. So let's get uh, let's get situated. Let's get ourselves a small work area just outside of the base. Cut down this tree too, we might as well. I see a whole bunch of coal right there. It's like late, later later in the game, you know, it, you, you don't get as giddy about seeing the materials as much. I feel. All right, let's switch over, get some, some light in the far distance here. Some light here. Some light here. Okay, I'm gonna break these out. Get this out of the way. Yeah, but my main thing is I want to get that machining table out of the way for this first, for this uh, this time around right now, for this episode. So uh, get this coal dug out of the ground. And I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So <clears throat> let's build our first. Crafting station. Get an inventor's table. Building that up right now. Constructing it. 
Ha boom! Perfect. Did you just craft, craft an inventor stable? I estimate your chances of survival have improved by 7.2%. That's nice. It feels nice. I'll tell you what. Do that. You know what? Yeah. We'll just leave it like that. I, I, I'll build a, um, a thing. Something later. Okay, let's see. What else do we need? We need a campfire to make a primitive furnace. Because we're going to research engineering. And... Researching engineering actually requires a copper bar and an iron bar in addition to 150 research. So, we gotta get a, a copper bar and an iron bar. So let this last thing that we need to craft is something that you can craft initially, which is the campfire. It is available for crafting. Seems you have discovered fire. My databanks tell me you're the 714th billionth per person to do so. Well done. Um, okay, so we got that. Got that fire. Let's make us a furnace. Construct us a furnace! Yes. Not to construct a furnace, please. Thank you. Alright. Yes. You make me quite happy. Hippie. Done and done. Let's build... Let's, let's smelt as many bars as we can of every type that we have available. I do really like the changes to the, the research system in, like... Actually having solid, um, marked out, uh, paths to get to things are super awesome. And apparently, apparently one of the, that, this, this change to the system also made it so that, uh, you don't have the lag that you would get when you, from picking up certain items previously. Like, it was a big, big problem with, I think, titanium and, and, like, the cryo something or other. I can't remember exactly what it was. But, it, the fact that it removes that lag is amazing. And I love it. I love it. I absolutely love that. Let's take that stuff, get it out of the way here. I'm gonna fill this in. I don't want it to fill up the water. I'm gonna want to build something here, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Or find a nice place to, that's kind of pre-constructed. Okay, so we smelted things down. Next, break out a tricorder again. Break out the research table. Going into engineering. Now it's available. Research done. All right, so now we have access. To the engineering table somewhere. Right? Do we? Uh, maybe it's the uh, medieval workstation. I can't remember here. Oh, that's something you can just build. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. All right, so that for that we need some uh, some paper and that's something else that we can get from our primitive furnace just from some wooden logs and we only need that five so let's put that together build us our first machining table and we'll throw that down great work great work next you're going to have, need to make a, a make wire at the machining table with that you'll be able to jerry rig give a, a fix for your teleporter porter <laughs> it's a, it's buffer is registering is degraded, which is not optimal. And I, I know his accent is going to change because I'm fairly certain it's not the accent I gave him uh, last time. But, you know, it's just a thing. Anyway, with that uh, machine table down, we're good to go. Uh, this is That's a good place to break this off, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, uh... You know the drill, though. It's it's YouTube. Um, if you uh, if you if you want to help out, the the best thing you can do, honestly, is watch or tell your friends. You know, I really appreciate that. It's great to have you here. Um, next up, obviously, like, comment, subscribe. You know the you know the deal on that. Um, everything you do does help. Um, and if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that little alarm bell. Any comments you drop, any tips or tricks, always appreciate hearing them. Um, any ideas, themes, buildings you want to see, games you want to see me play, that kind of thing. I will try to get back to you. No promises on that. And uh, if you got any good, really good tips that I use, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll try to give you a shout out. I'll try to ask you for a shout out if you want one. And uh, we'll see about that. No promises on any of this. And last but not least, if you do really want to help out the channel, if you really want to help me out, I always appreciate it. Throw some money my way. You can donate in the, uh, the description. Give it, you know, throw some coffee my way. And I might be setting up a Patreon at some point. So we'll see about that. Anyway, with that. Long-winded ending. Thank you for watching the first episode of this new season. Hope to see you back again. From my house to yours, I'm John the Neighbor Kid, and I will see you guys next time.
Bye-bye now.